I think it is very important that we engage in communications. We need to communicate and we need to negotiate in any conflict resolutions. It is very important that each party will have to have a desire to resolve the conflicts and be able to express the interest or the rationale behind what they're arguing about and come up with a common goal and then work together to establish a commonly acceptable resolution. The most critical elements in resolving conflict would be communications. No communications, no conflict resolutions. It is important for each party to openly express his or her own positions as well as the interest. And then it is important that we have a common interest that both parties would like to achieve in resolving that conflict. In addition, I think listening is another key element in conflict resolutions. It is important that we don't just listen to the positions itself among the parties, but also to apply active listening techniques to explore the interest behind the positions on why the parties, they are giving such positions. Like any other communications, the word itself only compose less than 50%, if not maybe less, like 30% of the overall meaning of the message. So it is important to listen to the body gestures, what the message behind means to each parties. And that is the reason why conflict is also comes in differences of cultures as well. It is important that we have to understand each other's on the interests or the motivations behind. For example, if I talk to an Indian who may be a little bit more subtle uh, working with Indian ladies, then it is important that we understand the cultures and that's their cultures and we need to adjust ourselves to make sure we facilitate, we can still facilitate given this framework of cultural differences. I think number one, it is important to have rapport building. We need to build rapport with each parties to make sure that we have a fundamental trust among each other, making sure the party is willing to share the positions or the interests behind the positions. So there are a few techniques that we can do to build rapport. Number one would be pacing and leading. So whatever the other person says, so we repeat what words that they say. We can apply some nodding techniques. We can be open to make sure that we are we're leaning forward to show that we are interested in listening to the other person and also keep ourselves in a curiosity state.